So hello and welcome to the Film Exologist, the place on the internet thingy where the performance secrets of Holy Cards uh, are about to be revealed. And this is going to be part one of a series, because in this part what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with the theory aspects of how to tune Holy Carburetors for increased performance for street. And in subsequent videos what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually, well, doing the doing, i.e. tuning it and making this carb uh, run better, yeah? But first of all, let me give you a quick introduction as to where we're at, and then I'll start with the, with the, with the tuning bit. So, this carburetor that, that you see here, I bought kind of a carburetor that basically uh, I've, I've explained in a previous video that there was a mismatch with the base plate. So this base plate is a smaller bore than than this one and that would have created a huge restriction to airflow. And therefore what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain why it creates a, re a restriction to airflow and how do I intend to not only overcome the problem but actually exceed the performance of the factory carb because that's what we're trying to do here this is about tuning a carb so one and the other thing that I'm going to do in this video series is I'm going to show you how to change the boosters and also why do I why do I do that so first of all the things I'm going to do in this in this video are kind of relatively kind of advanced and it is something that uh, people that are used to dealing with, uh, like European carburetors with the Lord Thor and Weavers, this is stuff that happens all the time. So, for example, the what Holly calls the boosters, which is this little things here that you can see them on the main on the main block here. So these little things are the boosters. Now, in, in European carb parlance, they are the auxiliary venturis, which is this. This is essentially the piece, that that's the same thing. And then you've got the chokes, which are separate pieces. These are the Lordo carb, they go like this, actually. Like this. And that is this area here. This, that's the choke. And then you've got, obviously, the, <coughs> the throttle plate, the ball. This is a 45 scrap 45 del orto and the same thing in 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 where in holly parlance is this base plate here <coughs> so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how to tune a holly carb as if it was kind of a european carb because you can do that so first of all let me bring you uh, a bit close okay so first of all let's talk about uh, the boosters, which are, the, let's say, the equivalent to the auxiliary venturi. Now, if you look at, at this sort of style booster, this is your standard booster. It's basically the same thing that you've got in there, but this is like a new piece. Now, I'm not going to put one of these. Instead, I'm going to put what Holly calls the down leg booster. Why? Because it goes down leg like this. And basically, if you you should be able to see it straight away, compared to the standard one. If you look at the standard one here and here, this creates a restriction, a more restriction to airflow than this one. So therefore, if I swap out a carburetor that has this boosters to a carburetor that has this boosters, I am going to generate an increase in airflow. Um, through the carb and this is the thing that I'm targeting with this particular unit here let's talk also about base plates because that is important this was the base plate that came with the carb and you can uh, you can see there there is a ridge there so the airflow would would come down here and and get and be forced into to to overcome this ridge here so that would decrease the airflow quite considerably so now let's see what would be happen if i put a 600 base plate this is a kind of a scrap uh, 600 cfm base plate 
but now as you can see if I put it there in here in here in here there is no ridge anymore so obviously this unit is this is the right base plate for this car and um, obviously I'm not going to use this base plate because it's um, scrap um, so we can't do that but <clears throat> It's good to have this place for demonstration purposes. But what I am going to do in this on this particular occasion is put a larger base plate onto this garb, like so. <clears throat> there we go. So now, now as you can see, what I have got, sorry, let me just put it properly there yeah, there we go so now you can see that the the bore of the base plate is larger than the bore of the of the of the of the passage of the bore so therefore what I what I can do now is what I'm what I need to do is I'm I'm gonna take a, a 45 degree uh, taper and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna blend this to this in order to help the smooth the airflow through here, through here, through here, through here, and therefore that is good. That is what's going to give me the increase in performance from this unit. So this modification here that I need to work on the body, and then plus the modification here with the higher flowing down leg boosters will give this carburetor this so this is a 600 cfm carb and with this new base plate this 750 base plate and this down leg boosters i think you will be around the 650 660 mark so and 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 the good thing about maintaining the <clears throat> the garb assist like this is that it would be really good for a small block v8 and it would still have that kind of low end power but still at higher rpms it would have much more power so that's why this modification is good the other thing the other material that you need for this modification and this will come clearer in other videos is that you need cathedral style kind of center hung fuel bolts like this one and what you need is you need metering blocks on both sides of the car the reason we need this is because we need to vary the jetting quite considerably on both sides on the car compared to the factory factory sort of jetting so therefore it is important that you are able to to change the jetting both here and also in the primary here so that's quite important that those are the materials that you're going to need so i hope you got something out of this and in in the forthcoming weeks what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing probably a video about the modification to just the body how how do i do that i'm going to show you the tools that i use and then another about the auxiliary venturis and how do i build them up so thank you i want to say thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions or comments just you know put it down i'll try to respond as soon as i can but for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next episode